on Hell's Kitchen. You all have palates like cow's backsides. Chef Ramsay tested the chef's taste buds. I'm a super taster. Like, I ate dirt as a kid. Wrong. And a near-perfect Virginia led her team to victory. Three out of four. Very well done. Thank you. Virginia did the best. What do you freaking do? Even though they won, the red team was in turmoil. Virginia and Sarah continued to feud. I thought you are actually, like, a good person. It's a shame you're that shallow. Maribel was homesick. It's hard. I miss my family. And Rachel's closest ally, Heather, was on the opposing team. If I go, you better win. If you go, I will cry. Stop it. Then, at dinner, Virginia was at her best. Simon's cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. While Rachel was at her worst. It's barely edible. Do you want to go home? That man will not break me. In the blue kitchen, Keith took control. Cut that one and go right on it. And received a rare compliment. Has anyone ever actually told you how good you could be? No, sir. The red team lost. Virginia was chosen the best of the worst. Nominate two of your teammates for elimination. First, she trashed Sarah. She made me look like a liar. But then, she nominated Rachel and Maribel. Rachel, take your jacket off. You don't quit having a dream because you're one night. <laughs> Although the red team is lost, the chef feeling the most pain is on the blue team. I'm sad. I know you are. I'm extremely sad that Rachel's gone. I'll have her in the back of my head going, come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. I'm definitely going to miss her. I didn't think that that would happen. I'm like, not that I thought that he would pick you, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever, she can say whatever she wants. Now that I'm still here, I can't allow anyone to make me feel like I'm small or I'm not capable of doing what I know I can do. I think he's gonna get candy. That's what I'm dreading. Hello, not as strong as I thought she was. Nope. And I'm not saying she's not good. I'm not saying that at all, but she ain't untouchable. That's for damn sure. Heather and Garrett, they're both pretty strong. Heather might be a little stronger. Um, I don't think she's as strong as me. They're fucking done. The girls are done. Heather was their heart, and Rachel was their backbone. And that's all gone now. We have got this fucking thing in the bag. All we got to do is do it. After a late night, the only thing up is the sun and the sous chefs. Snoozing, Chef Scott came in with Chef Marianne, going, Woo! Time to get up! Ba, 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 ba. And blue team jumped up. We were ready. <laughs> I'm like, man, I thought this was over, you know? Not again. Yeah! Let's go! Hey, hey. Everybody outside of my house, kids, let's go! to the market with butterflies. The anticipation is so nerve-wracking when we're on these challenges. Chef Ramsay believes that it is impossible to have quality cuisine without the freshest ingredients. Morning. Morning, Morning Chef. Chef. We're here for one reason, one reason only, inspiration. And that's your challenge for today, to go around this market and be inspired and create a three-course meal. You've got just 20 minutes to complete that menu. Now move your arm. In this test of inspiration and creativity, do you want to do some prosciutto? Each team must find all the necessary ingredients to prepare an appetizer, entree, and dessert to impress Chef Ramsay. We can do a spinach salad. Let's just do the soup. Virginia was the one who's taken the initiative to build the menu, and it's a little frustrating because 
I don't know what I can do with a team. That's why I'm here. Come on, you guys. Let's walk down the middle, you guys. Virginia takes charge of the menu for the red team. Guys, you have 10 minutes left. But at the halfway mark, neither team has decided all their dishes. Here it is. All right, for dessert, what am I doing? Heather, she gets flustered. I don't know. Yeah, but look at all the fresh fruits. As long as those desserts come out money, we're going to take those girls down on the right-hand side. The red team is ready to purchase their entree, a dish Virginia thinks will attract Chef Ramsay's attention. The Nine biggest breast. Yeah. The huge breast. Virginia, she wants to be a leader, but I, I don't feel that she has it in her. We're all picking up the wrong thing, not getting enough things. I forgot the flavor liqueur. Going the wrong direction. Where the fuck? Three minutes left, guys. It, it was insanity. 30 seconds left. Sue, so, yeah, get a red pepper. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. All right, guys, close together. Come on. Come on, sir. Sir, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Time is up. Thank We're you. done. All right, guys. Easy. With the shopping completed, both teams must prepare a three-course meal in one hour that will satisfy one of the greatest chefs in the world. Yeah, one hour, guys. One hour. With those peppers, make sure you roast the shit out of them. For a soup? A lot of the ideas were my ideas, so maybe I'm the leader, but I like to think that we're all leading our own dishes with the help of others. Blister the fuck out of them. It's a hot, hot pan that's gonna burn. I'm checking it, don't worry about it. I really don't feel like they have confidence in me. I, I mean, I totally think that they thought that I was gonna screw up. Ask him to do things. I'm gonna get dessert. Who's Gary, you'll do appetizer? Yeah. Me and Garrett are going to do both together over here next to each other. I didn't want to put too much responsibility on Garrett, you know, because he's kind of like the weakest with the knowledge. You want this thing done the same way, right? Yeah, we just need a little bit of each kind. Are you going to blend that soup, or did you already blend it? I'll blend it right now. 30 seconds. Right here on top of the crate. All right, guys, stop. Everything up here, please. It's now time for the teams to present their market inspirations to Chef Ramsay. First up, the appetizers from Sarah and Garrett. Garrett, what is it? Uh, what we have here is a roasted corn scallop and shrimp bisque, Chef. Uh-huh. Presentation. Looks nice. I'm just really concerned about that sharp, spiky tail there that we couldn't see. Put your finger on the end there. Put your finger on the end. Ouch. Yeah. If I'd swallowed that, I'd be on the way to hospital. If you order shrimp, guess what you automatically assume? That there's going to be a tail on there, old Gordo. Um, Sarah. This is a bell pepper soup. Mm. It's a shame because the color looks really appetizing. Yes. But the minute you taste it, it's burnt. Hey, with those peppers, make sure you roast the shit out of them. It was my fault. I told Sarah to char the hell out of them. But then again, she didn't say no either. Virginia wants some time to shine, but um, charred bell peppers weren't the best. What a shame. Slight advantage to the blue team there. Just a slight. Entrees, let's go. Wow. Virginia. Uh, it's a chicken roulade stuffed with Mexican hard salami, sliced tomatoes, and garlic. Mm -hmm. How many chickens are there? That's one chicken breast, chef. Your bird's got big breasts. Thank you. We haven't even got that sophisticated yet in Hell's Kitchen with our own chicken dish. So I'm quite pleased you've come up with something inspirational. Thank you, chef. Virginia's chicken breasts have satisfied Chef Ramsay. Now, it's up to Keith and his entree. I got a bone-in pan-roasted uh, ribeye with mm -hmm. uh, tomatillo and smoked chili uh, demi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, steaks cook perfectly. Thanks. Delicious, in fact. And even though the vegetables look a mess, they actually taste quite nice. Thank you to you both. Thanks, Chef. Now, the final course with Maribel and Heather, and it all comes down to their desserts. My hands were literally shaking underneath that platter because I didn't want the girls to say that it was my fault, that I screwed it up. Wow. Uh, Heather. Fresh fruit crepes with a mango peach puree. Mm hmm Nice. 
the unfortunate thing about them, they've gone soggy. You know, like a soggy sandwich. It's a great shame. Thank you. Maribel. Um, it's a strawberry shortcake made with, like, Latin ingredients. I would love to have seen more <laughs> inspiration. Yes, yeah, Chef. However, it's actually quite tasty. Thank you, Chef. And it's refreshing. It's quite palate cleansing. Thank you, Chef. I was like, thank you, God. The team winning the challenge will be spending some serious time with me. Basically, a night out of town. Sadly, the losers will be on delivery duty. Well, both teams, you put me in a very difficult position right now. A tough one. The winning team is... The red team. Well done. Yes. Thank well you, done. Chef. Thank you, Chef. And out of all the dishes that I would choose off a restaurant menu, it was the chicken. That would be the one. Virginia, you're on a roll. Keep it that way. Thank you, Chef. Just because it might come off to a slow start doesn't mean I won't finish with a bang. I don't understand how that won. I'm so pissed off right now. It's like he's playing favorites. Winners, start thinking about what you're gonna wear this evening and I'll see you later. Blue team, when you hear that horn, Get off your butts and get straight to that delivery dock. Yes, sir. You judge wrong, period. They win with a burnt soup and one strawberry? Are you kidding me? We got cheated out of our victory. Yo, that's such bullshit, right? Fucking bullshit. And he said her soup was burnt, and he said our soup was money. Yeah. He said our dessert was money. We had fucking the 10 hell times. Miss anything. I cannot believe we fucking lost. I wouldn't even eat that poached chicken. It's fucking disgusting. We're going to be the fun three. Fuck them bitches. <laughs> there she is. She's what on board now. Winning? She's on board now, what baby. Is Ugh. We got to send those girls home. That's it. Plain and simple. Girls are going home. Ooh, they rolled up a chicken. Woobity-doo! I'm not pissed that I just heard you talking about my rolled chicken. I rolled a chicken. Woobity-doo! <laughs> it has nothing against you personally. I just think we got fucking cheated, so we're going to talk shit, and that's it. And that's because, right. because we've been getting fucked. Right the fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> and we've been getting fucked since the day we walked into Hell's Kitchen. I hope they have fun with their consolation prize, because that's exactly what it is. None of those three will be in the finals. We're knocking them out right now. They were horribly bent out of shape today. That was almost intimidating with the way they were running their mouths. To the same degree, it was also pathetic because they were such sore losers. Chef, do you like my chicken breast? Because I'm running the show. They're just so negative right now. At first, it was funny, and now I'm ignoring it, but nothing can really bring me and the girls down right now. Where was that? While the red team relaxes, the punishment begins for the blue team. Let's go. Unload the truck, stack everything behind the bar. Next time you hear another horn come right out, there'll be another delivery. You want the beast? You got him. Watch out behind you. There was enough wine for like 10 dinner services. Shower's black tank top. Looks cute. I'm really, 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 really excited about going out with Chef tonight. Chef's been talking about getting his groove on, and I want to see him move his groove tank. I was sweating like Tom today. Oh, ah! Yes. <laughs> Girls, look at this. Oh, my god. Wow. Hi, Hi Chef. There they are. Working Ooh. hard. Let's just watch them unload for a little while. <laughs> Say hi, Gordon. Oh, are they flipping us off? They're flipping us off? Wow. Garrett flipped off Chef Ramsay, which I don't think that was a good idea. And I really hope it doesn't affect our team. 
While the blue team is left to wonder if there will be consequences to Garrett's use of sign language, the red team is off for their big night. Ladies, let's go. Thank you. It was special. We were treated like we were just Hollywood. The food was just exquisite. And we have an extra dish here for you. Oh my well. goodness. Chef was an absolute gentleman. We had so much fun with him. I'm betting my eyelashes is at you. Oh, is that what it is? It's the wine. Yeah. No more for her. I didn't feel that Maribel or Sarah were on the same caliber as me at all tonight. We don't say it out loud, but we know that we don't really bond. We know that we're just in it to win it. <laughs> we need some motherfucking ice machines in Hell's Kitchen. I don't know why we're getting ice like that. Do what you want to us, man. We're just gonna come back. We're fine. Heather is one tough bitch. <laughs> I'm the toughest bitch there is. <laughs> so this place is renowned for its steaks. Now, the red team has moved on to entrees at another Hollywood hotspot. Nice and private. Thank you. Very nice. And Virginia has an important question for the owner. What's the one key thing that you could honestly say? I'm saying, like, right when you think of it. What can you tell me right here, right now? I'm saying, like, right when If you only she could ask it. Break you. Like, what have you learned now that you didn't know then when you opened up a place? You need consistency. That's it. Consistency. I, I just find it very, I, I mean, I love the fact that you grew so quickly. I mean, that's so, we're like, shut up, shut up. At what point is Virginia not fake? So on and so forth, but, <laughs> you know, anyway. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Virginia, she annoys me. Thank you very much for having us. My pleasure. Good night, Jay. Good night, girlfriend. We were just in the dorms for maybe like five minutes, and the horn goes off again. We're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Despite a late night. Sarah, let's go. Blue team's already out there. Chef Ramsay is up early with something on his mind. Garrett, yesterday when I was going out with the girls, you gave me this. Do you want to go? No. I never, ever want to see that in front of my face again. Let's get that clear. Yes, Chef. Having been impressed by both teams yesterday, I've now decided to let both teams take control of your own menus. Now, get back to your dorms and start putting it together. Let's go. Yes, sir. With just 10 hours left before tonight's service, the teams must create and prepare a brand new menu. I think we should do uh, three little scallops and the shrimp and a little risotto in the middle. Shake the tail off the shrimp. Yeah, no doubt. No <laughs> doubt. OK, the rack of lambs. When I do um, rack of lamb, what I do is I sear it, hit it with a little Dijon mustard. It was so hot, it got me fired. The owners can take it at the restaurant that my menu is better than theirs. OK, do you want to have sushi? OK. Because I used to make sushi, and it's easy. Um, can I just say something? No. They're both seeing eye to eye. I'm like the odd one out. And you know, I'm at a point where I'm really frustrated, and I'm just going to let them do whatever the hell they want. We could do a lobster Wellington. I just think people would order it. Oh, forget it. Y'all just fucking figure it out then. You got to put in ideas. What yeah, are you going to Why? So y'all can be like, no, I don't want to make that. Every idea that I had was just shot down and, you know, just not good enough, so whatever. Now that the menus have been designed, it's time for prep. And with just over three hours until dinner service starts, every second counts. I wonder where Maribel went. I wish she'd hurry the fuck up. Maribel is moving really slow, which is bugging the heck out of me right now. She has the Chinese disease dragon ass. 
You all right, man? You're not even talking to me? Nothing's Let's enough. get him resolved just, now. No, Before his fucking whole day goes to fuck. I just wish that I could add a little more info on you. That's all. Thank you. I really don't even understand why I even need to be here today. I have no input on menu planning, so. OK, guys, let's go. OK, this is it. Any moment now, Hell's Kitchen's going to open. And for the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, it's the blue menu against the red menu. This is your moment to shine, but it's my standards. Any questions? No, no chef. Let's go. I'm feeling blue tonight. I'm ordering from the red menu. Tonight, it's the battle of the menus. The red kitchen will feature an elaborate pepper seared blue fin and hamachi sashimi created by Virginia and a Colorado rack of lamb from Sarah. The blue team has kept it simple with classic dishes like the dry aged New York steak from Keith, a pear tart to tan from Heather, and from Garrett, well, nothing. Where's the risotto? Down. Go on, put it down so I can taste. Where's the tomato? Right here. Nice. Okay. Risottos are lovely. Keith. Yes, chef. Good man. Let's go. Well, it was an honor for him to recognize some talent in Kate Grease. I'm just going to try to kill it. Kate Grease should rise to the top. Thanks to Keith. Let's go. Up. On your own. Go. The blue team is off to a strong start. Complete, please. Let's go. In the red kitchen, that's raw. Not exactly a great beginning. Listen, Missy, I'm not going to listen to your bullshit to send that crap. That's fucking raw. Yes, Get sir. them in the pan. Let's go. Service, please. Just let it go. Just let it be. It's OK. I got it. All right? This is your first time cooking these? What? I've been cooking them for years. Every time I try and offer help, she doesn't want to take it from me. Hey, idiot. There's a reason why I offer. We're running way behind on these appetizers. I know, chef. You know that. This is your menu. Yes, yes chef. chef. How long for two sashimi? Um, I need to collect my thoughts before I answer you, chef. Oh, my god. With Virginia lost in thought, the red kitchen is at a standstill. Sorry, we're serving the blue team appetizers. The red team still aren't ready. 30 minutes into dinner service, and appetizers are flying out of the blue kitchen. Again, we're going to have to serve the gentleman before the lady because we're still waiting for it to start from the red kitchen. Which has led to customers at the same table having very different dining experiences. After you. Are you sure? Mm hmm Shimi raw fish. It's like sushi, right? You guys, this sashimi is fucked up. I was having trouble cutting the sashimi this evening because the sashimi was just too wiggly, and it, it got a little difficult. Virginia. Yes, chef. Look what you're sending me. Come here, you. It's just, it's just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. All right. It's just fish sliced. Yes, chef. That's all it is. It's raw fish fucking sliced. We still can't get that out. I used to make sushi, and it's easy, OK? Virginia. Yes, chef. Get over there. Yes, chef. She's not going to say anything, and give her a hand. How, what do you um, need help with? With Maribel's help, Virginia has finally solved the sashimi situation. Unfortunately, it's an hour into service. Meanwhile, Keith has finished all of the appetizers, and Heather and Garrett are moving on to entrees. What in the fuck is that? What is this? Get me a duck salad, now! Got another one on the way, Chef. Why'd you serve me that when we're doing so well? Keith! If it's a time you need to get a grip of your team, it's right now. Let me see that duck. Dude, that's a little raw, bro. Yeah. Flash it real quick. That's what's well, happening. No, the, this one, this one. Confection. 500. Get, move it in. When you hear that horn, get straight to that delivery dock. Don't look at me like that, Garrett. Now, one more delivery. Move. Let's go. The red team now has a chance to catch up. Service, please. Complete table 40. Oh, my god. We had another stupid delivery. 
There was probably like 150 boxes. Go, table 50, let's go. The blue team is not gonna go down easy. You can't break us. Go, please, yeah. The red team has now moved on to their entrees, and Sarah has brought her lamb. What's that? To the slaughter. What the fuck is that? Missy, just what are you doing with the lamb? I'm learning, chef. You're learning? Yes, chef. What do you mean you're learning? When I do um, rack of lamb, it was so hot it got me fired. It's the owners can't take it at the restaurant that my menu was better than theirs. Sarah! What is going on? Are you fucking blind? No, chef. What is that? This In your, what, I, mean, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Me neither, chef. That is not going anywhere, Missy. Okay. Except in the fucking bin. Yes, Chef. In the blue kitchen, Garrett is hoping to impress Chef Ramsay with his first entree. One duck. Let's go. Yes, Chef. What's he doing to that duck? It's white. Yes, it's chef. not even pink. Watch. That goes on there. What? Watch. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Watch. Don't move anywhere. The rest of that cooks it in there. That goes into the oven for 30 seconds. Yeah. There you go. Now, you run around there. No, down. Now off you go. I, I saw Chef Ramsay spending more and more time on my station. You know, it's never a good thing when he's just hanging out with you. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my god. Welcome to fucking hell shithole. Service. Despite Garrett, blue team entrees are being sent out to the dining room. Yep. Oh. I apologize again that we have to serve the gentleman before the lady. Which is putting pressure on the red kitchen. Where is the lamb? It's working, I'm about chef. to send the third table of entrees from the blue team. Yes, sir. And I still haven't got a lamb out yes, from chef. the red team. Yes, sir. Now it's turning into be a fucking big embarrassment. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna kick you out any minute now unless you get me a fucking lamb. Yes, sir. You know, the lamb was a big deal, but where was my team jumping in, coming in and helping me cook lamb? I was left alone to just burn. What, what is your name, first of all? Jean -Philippe. Jean-Philippe? Yes. OK, I'm starving. Yeah, well, then, unfortunately, I can't give you any time on how much longer you're going to have to wait. Sarah! Chef! Come here, Missy. Yes, Chef. I don't know if you're colorblind or you've got a problem with your fucking contact lenses. That is blood. Look, it's blood. They want it medium. It's still fucking rare. Yes, Chef. There's blood everywhere. We still haven't sent an entree from the red team. Yes, sir. Take the lamb off the menu. Stop it. I don't give a flying fuck. You chef. don't dare cook any more lamb. Jean-Philippe has taken so much flack on the back of your inconsistency. Hmm. Tonight, I'm just fed up, yeah? JP is just can't wait to go out and having a little bit, chill out, because tonight, I just had enough while the red team continues to keep their diners waiting. The blue team has a completed dinner service in sight. Heather has taken over Garrett's meat station, and now her steaks are at the pass for Chef Ramsay's approval. Who cooked the steak? I did, Chef. Fucking hell, it's nicely cooked. Oh my god almighty, I can't even take a compliment now. Fuck off, you go. The only reason the steaks were going out good is because I did them all. Uh, Garrett clammed up. Big time. But, um, I mean, towards the end of the night, he, no, he really didn't get it towards the end of the night either. Oh, Christ. Now that Sarah's lamb has been pulled from the menu, the focus turns to Maribel on the fish station. I think hers, yours is lukewarm, right? Yeah. It's not warm enough, Chef. Oh, come on. Maribel! Yes, Chef! Where's the ticket? Fuck you now. Rare. Undercooked, Chef. Thank you, Chef. What's the temperature supposed to be, Maribel? Uh, regular. It'll be ready. Normal. Normal. Regular. Normal. Regular. Normal. I can't believe the first thing you touched this evening in service has come back. Yes, Chef. While the Red Kitchen can't seem to master the menu they designed, the blue team is about to accomplish a Hell's Kitchen first. 
How about those desserts, Heather? Let's go. Delivering desserts to their customers. Thank you, that looks great. Okay, the last and absolute final table in the dining room. Oh my god. Very nice job. You saved my white ass. The blue team has completed their first service, while the red team still has not successfully served an entree. And Maribel is struggling with the salmon dish Sarah designed. If you're gonna grill a salmon, Sarah, you don't tie it and fucking stuff it together. No, That's no. the third dish from the red team that is totally impractical. Can we just cut the salmon into a slice without fucking around yeah. stuffing it? Yeah. Consistency? Don't fucking dare. Don't fucking dare! Missy, Missy, come here, you fat mouth little stupid bitch. Yes, chef. You're pissing around with something that's not working. Yes, chef. Have that fucking clicked? Yes, chef. It's fucking red! Just stop. Blue team, come here. All of you. I am so fucking determined to have a successful completed service. I've got 11 tables waiting for main courses from the red team. You get on the section and work together. Thank you, chef. I personally, I don't want to stick around for any more shit. What a fucking embarrassment. When Jeff Ramsey called the blue team over, by that time it was just out of control, just completely out of control. With help from their competitors, the red team finally completes their dinner service. Not done. Blue team. Yes, sir. You completed the service. Well done, and thank you. Keith. Yes, sir. Your best performance so far. Great. Garrett, you're lucky to be in the same kitchen as Heather and Keith. I agree. Sarah. Chef. Tonight has been your worst ever dinner performance in Hell's Kitchen. Yes, chef. Ladies, you know damn well you lost. You designed a menu that was way over your heads. Tonight, there's no such thing as the best of the worst. You're all equal. Go back to the dorm, and each of you will nominate one person for elimination. Get out. Red team failed. We just couldn't do it. We weren't good enough. It was one of the most horrible nights I've ever had at Hell's Kitchen. What the hell happened? I haven't cooked meat in... Many years. So then why did you suggest the lamb? And say it's so simple if if it wasn't. You know what? We can go at this and pick at things, but I'm not the only one in the whole picture that fails. We've had to eat ass on your account too. Shut up. Oh, it's on! It's on! She's going down. Maribel, where were you during prep? You weren't with us at all. If you feel that's the reason why we fucked up today, please, I'm like me. Sarah likes to point fingers, but who really screwed up today? She did. Everything that you put together failed. You think you're the golden child of the day. I mean, you with the- Did I say that? She's just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She just looks like a bitch. I'm so sick of hearing her voice right now. You know what the worst part about all this is? Is that you don't, you, you say you made a mistake, but you have no like remorse. You don't even at all say you're sorry. I do have remorse. You I'm very so hard on myself. You're not even sorry. Virginia, she's a little snotty crab cake. Everybody's looking to defend themselves and a way out of getting pissed on. And if it's me, bring it on. While the dream of having a restaurant in Las Vegas is still alive for Keith, Heather, and Garrett, it will soon be over for one member of the red team. Ladies, made your decisions? Yes, Chef. Because I've also made a decision. I'm not going to listen to your nominees. All three of you, step forward. Sarah, 
Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I believe that I'm responsible for a lot of dynamics of the team as far as the organization, bringing the team together. My major mistake that I've made thus far is I can't cook lamb, but who can on our team? Virginia. Yes, Chef. What do you think about what Sarah said? It makes me sick. The fact that she says that she doesn't know how to cook lamb, then why would she be so confident and lead us in thinking that she knew what she was doing when she didn't have a damn clue? Maribel. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have a lot of drive, and there's a lot of things against me. I get treated like the third wheel when it comes to that. I try, I try to give them my two cents. I feel like they pushed me out. I could see how she felt like the third wheel, and that's why I kept asking her, what do you think, what do you want? And I really honestly don't feel I bully her around, and if I do, I want to know how. Can I just say something? No. Let me just give you a little summary. Sarah, talking to you in service tonight, you had your head tucked up inside your ass. It's still fucking there. Yes, Chef. There's blood everywhere. Virginia. Yes, Chef. You're as good as what you put on a plate. And tonight's sashimi was shocking. That's all it is. It's raw fish fucking sliced. We still can't get that out. And Mirabelle. Yes, Chef. You were like a rabbit just bobbing around the kitchen, but accomplishing nothing. Mirabelle, get over there. person leaving Hell's Kitchen. is Mirabel. Please take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. You worked hard. You're a sweet girl, but I need a leader. And you're clearly not one. Thank you, Chef. Good night. Yeah, Sarah and Virginia were just out for themselves. I'm here trying to work as a team. I think that was my weakness. I was myself throughout the process. My husband will see that, and he'll be proud of me, and my daughter will too, and that's all that counts to me. One simple message for all of you. If you think it's gonna get any easier, forget it. Just right now, gone up another level. I just wanna keep proving to Chef Ramsey that I have it in me. And I hope that he doesn't put me in the same category as Sarah, because I think she's really two-faced right now. Virginia, she stood up on that chopping block three times already. People like her are disposable, and it's just all a matter of time. Tonight I shined, and now I'll shine even more. The fewer the people that are here, the better I have the opportunity to show that. At this point, I'm pretty much the whipping boy, and it really sucks. It is motivating the hell out of me. I am gonna overcome people with more experience. Now it's down to five people. The claws are coming out. Oh, man, it's gonna get rough. Go and get some sleep. Good night. I'm trying to find someone that deserves a restaurant. Now, to run that restaurant properly, you need a leader. My Mirabelle clearly can't lead a section, let alone a kitchen. On the next Hell's Kitchen. Congratulations. It's down to the final five. We're all soldiers now. We're all the strongest. And things get ugly when a woman comes between Garrett and Keith. You're a liar. He's dead to me. Then it's a trip to Las Vegas and the Red Rock Resort where they'll see the site of the restaurant that will belong to the Hell's Kitchen winner. This is it. This is real. And at dinner service, will the five chefs be able to come together as a team? You need help? Or will old rivalries sink the service? You gotta watch the scallops. Heather's just a loud barking bulldog. <laughs> and what happens when one of the chefs makes the biggest mistake you can make in a kitchen? You're gonna kill someone. Find out next time on Hell's Kitchen.